Hi YouTubers, Jeff Cote here with another session of Ask PYS. So we have a fellow boater uh, who's got a center console boat, not too big, and um, he's asking the following question. So Robert asks, Jeff, I'm beginning to rewire center console bay boat and was looking for tips on pro proper wire management and neatly securing the wire inside the console. Okay, good question. I love it. Remember, educate first and then do. Never do before educate. Big fan on educate. Inform yourself, right? So the first thing, um, as, a, as an amateur, and a lot of us are doing that as boat owners, we're amateur to everything. Uh, when you're an amateur electrician, the tips for trying to be like a pro are the following. First of all, neatness and looking aesthetic is everything. That's rule number one. We see this amongst other electricians. This is generally a, a big sort of indication of both perfection, which is an essential skill of being an electrician, and being organized, another essential skill of being an electrician. So the first thing is you're gonna to wanna to figure out sort of the cable routes within the console. Like how are you gonna go from one place to the other? And you're gonna basically create channels, right? And what I use is I'll use a lot of zip ties and actually I'll even find ways either epoxying sort of these little holders everywhere on the console or if there's enough meat to the fiberglass, I'm actually even gonna use short uh, fasteners to actually barely go deep into the fiberglass so I have a place to affix all the wires. I don't want those wires to be moving around, okay? The other thing, advice that I would say is make sure that you take the time to route the wires in nice shapes so that it actually looks organized and that it was intended. That's the other thing too. Try to follow the code for colors. ABYC stipulates or makes recommendations on different color codes. So you can actually Google ABYC marine wiring colors and they'll give you sort of different colors for different purposes. So that'd be one way is to follow the code. Um, the other thing too is, we've talked about in other videos, is maybe starting thinking about adding terminal strips. If you've got you know a boat that has 10, 15, 20 different sort of DC loads, you might want to think about bringing all those loads to a terminal strip and then from the terminal strip all the way to the panel so that the panel to the terminal strip is done once and never done again. So that'd be something else. Uh, make sure that if you're using wiring, you use only marine tin wire. Don't waste your time with that cheap sort of untin wire. Remember, a 20-year-old boat, or my boat is 31 years old, is certainly not what I consider to be an old boat. An old boat might be 100 years, and some of those owners still love their boats. There's not many typical boat owners, like car owners, that are training in their boats every three years, every five years, getting a new lease. Boats have a very long life. And so our goal, as we're working on these boats that we love, is think, listen, whatever I'm doing here, this is not a one year, two year, five year. This might be a 20, 30, 40 year sort of a horizon. So, Take the time to use good marine terminals, good marine wiring, color coding, supporting the wire every six inches, um, and making sure you take the time to make it look aesthetic. It's gonna provide a lot of, maybe not so much just inspiration, but it's gonna, when it's time to sell the boat, and if you've got a knowledgeable buyer and they look behind the scenes and they see that you took the time to do it well, that's gonna go an extra long way to get the value of the boat that you thought you deserved. So great question, thanks for asking. Thank you for watching this PYS video. If you've got further questions, ask them down below or go on our website to fill one of the forms. Also, support to keep this YouTube channel ad-free by donating on PayPal or purchasing some merchandise on our store. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.